A homeless man whose eye was shot by a paintball gun that left him blind in that one eye is getting free treatment from a Fresno eye doctor. It's a $30,000 gift this man would otherwise not be able to afford. Action News reporter Santaya Rose spoke with the doctor about the shooting victim and his long road ahead. Santaya? Well, Warren, Les Garcia was preparing his blankets for bed several weeks ago when police say two teens pegged him in the eye with a paintball gun. The injury was traumatic for Garcia, but today a Fresno doctor offered all of his services and treatment for free. Les Garcia kicked aside the cans he planned to cash in Friday morning for a free ride to the doctor compliments of American Ambulance. It was the only way he could make it from the corner where he lives in downtown Fresno to northeast Fresno. Three weeks ago, Dr. Azar Salahuddin first met Garcia in the emergency room at Community Regional Medical Center. When I saw him and I saw the injury, my heart just went out to him. He's a, a great person and no one deserves this kind of injury, least of all a person like him who's down on his luck. The injury is devastating and permanent. Dr. Salahuddin pieced together Garcia's eye and stitched it up the best he could. The alternative was removing the eye altogether. He was hit with a pellet directly in his eye and that caused his eye to actually split in half. Despite the painful recovery, Garcia says he's grateful he will still have an eye. He's a blessing. And when you get blessed like this, especially I can't afford this kind of medication, he could have let the eyeball go out and just but he didn't. He wanted to save my eyeball, and I, and I appreciate him so much. Friday, Dr. Salahuddin took a closer look at how his eye is healing. Here's how it stands here. Your left eye is perfect, as you know. Your right eye is looking good. It's, um, it's coming along well. Garcia also asked about how he should be tending to his damaged eye. So what do I do now about this? Okay, so you have about 10 stitches in there. And it, it goes all the way back to the back of your eye. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to remove the stitches, but it's too early. Garcia has intense headaches nearly every day. He says since his other eye has to strain all day to make up for the blind eye, it's very sore by the day's end. But he says he's thankful police caught the two teens who officers say were firing at random homeless people. 18-year-old Felix Flores of Bakersfield and his 17-year-old friend are facing felony charges for the crime, including assault with a deadly weapon. And Les Garcia got some new eye drops today to prevent any infection, but now he says he just needs to get some sunglasses to protect his eye while it heals. In the newsroom, Santaya Rose, ABC 30 Action News.